A sure sign of the season for select parts of the country, cicadas. I can hear them already. Oh, yeah. I love that sound. Dan Smith has a look and a listen at some of the loudest insects on Earth in your moment of science. Ah, the sweet summer song of cicadas buzzing and buzzing. And oh my goodness, when will they stop buzzing? Only the males buzz and uh, they do that to attract females. There are speculations and there are data that uh, the noise is also then repelling uh, predators. Dr. Reinhard Lakes Harlan is a neurobiologist by trade and his work often has him coming in contact with many of these pesky perennial performers. That signature sound all has to do with special structures in the male's abdomen called timbals. They're a sort of membrane that uses some powerful gut muscles to vibrate and buzz and their abdomens being hollow only serves to amplify that call. The females give little clicks if they like the song and so ends the speed dating portion of the program. Groups of cicadas are called broods, and of the 3,000 plus known species, just seven are those periodical types which emerge after either 13 or 17 years spent in the soil. Young ones live in the ground for about 98 or 99 percent of yeah, their life is underground, and then only one or two percent is when they come up four weeks um, with high activity and of course as a little bit before and a little bit after, so maybe about eight weeks. Those different years can lead to some impressive overlap. Brood 10 was the largest in recent memory with hundreds of billions of cicadas emerging that year. 2025's focus will be Brood 14, centered around states like Kentucky and Pennsylvania, and Dr. Lakes Harlan says they don't all emerge in one night. When the temperature is right and when there is some rain, so the rain drops on the ground and then the uh, nymphs in the ground may recognize that and then they come out. You might think they're toiling away several feet below ours, but Dr. Lakes Harlan says when he digs up cicadas, they tend to only be about 12 to 18 inches below ground. By the way, while cicadas have mouth parts that suck water out of plant roots... They have absolutely no chance of biting. This can't uh, go through any skin or so, so they are absolutely harmless. Except, of course, that they can disturb your hearing if you have it, if you are in a very big crowd of them. A large enough brood can be as loud as a lawnmower if you stand in the middle of it, but it would take prolonged exposure to even start to get hearing damage. Safety in numbers is about all they have going for them, as pretty much any insectivore, from birds to mammals to amphibians and even fish, enjoy the annual buffet. Cicadas also help prune mature trees, and their bodies provide some good nitrogen for growing plants. They may lead simple and mostly hidden lives, but there are some downright weird things that can happen when they interact with other tiny creatures. Next week, we'll explore the doctor's research into how a cicada, a fly, and a fungus coexist in the forests of northern Michigan. Spoiler alert, it's going to get gross. For this week's Moment of Science, I'm Dan Smith. Dan is also coming out of a shell with his... <laughs> with his Hopefully just, not like that little guy. Yeah, no, just yeah. Uh, figuratively. Yeah. But, I remember. Yeah. Back in the 90s, they were right. everywhere you, for you a little while. Pick the shells off of the trees. Yeah, put them in someone's hair. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do that part. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>